And now, Knuffle Bunny Free, an unexpected diversion by Mo Willems. One day, not so long ago, Trixie took a big trip with her family. They were on their way to visit Trixie's Oma and Opa in Holland. Holland is far away. So that meant taking a taxi to the airport, waiting in line, watching Knuffle Bunny go through the big machine, waiting some more, and finally getting on a real airplane. On the plane, Trixie played and read and slept. Before she knew it, the plane had landed. Trixie and her family left the airport and got on a train to go to... Oma and Opa's house. Oma and Opa were so happy to see Trixie. Soon, Oma and Trixie were drinking cold glasses of chocolate milk in the garden. Suddenly, Trixie realized something. Trixie didn't tell her daddy that Knuffle Bunny was gone. She didn't have to. Trixie's daddy called the airline and asked them to look for Knuffle Bunny on the plane. But the plane had left for China. China is very far away. Trixie's mother hugged her and asked her to be brave. Trixie's daddy told the story of when he was a little boy and said goodbye to his special lammy. Oma gave Trixie another glass of chocolate milk and remarked on how big she was getting. Trixie understood. She was getting bigger. Even if she wished she wasn't. The next morning, Trixie tried to enjoy going to the cafe and the swings in the playground and the carnival that was in town. And while the whole week was filled with fun things, like eating french fries on the street, visiting real windmills, and feeding the ducks, Trixie was still sad. She missed her Knuffle Bunny. Oma and Opa understood. Oma and Opa had a plan. That night, they had a surprise for Trixie. A brand new, top of the line, funny bunny wanny doll extreme. It could walk. It could speak in Dutch. Ike kan spraken. It could dance. Ike kan dansen. But it couldn't make Trixie feel any better. Trixie was sure that she wouldn't be able to sleep another night in a strange bed without her knuffle bunny. But before she knew it, she was dreaming. She dreamed of Knuffle Bunny and all the places he would visit. She dreamed of all the children Knuffle Bunny would meet. She dreamed of how Knuffle Bunny would make them feel better. The next morning, Trixie felt better. Trixie had a big breakfast. She played with Oma on the playground swings. She even tried a sip of Opa's coffee at the cafe. It was a great day. Before she knew it, the trip was over and it was time to go home. Trixie hugged Oma and Opa as hard as she could. Then Trixie and her family got back onto the train and back onto the plane. Wah! And listened to the crying baby as the plane lifted off. But... Can you believe it? 
right there on that very plane, Trixie noticed something. Knuffle Bunny! Trixie was so happy to have Knuffle Bunny back in her arms. Happy enough to make a decision. Wah! Trixie turned around and said, Would your baby like my Knuffle Bunny? Really? asked the baby's mother. Really? asked Trixie's daddy. Really? asked Trixie's mommy. Blaga ploggy? asked the baby. Really? said Trixie. She was big enough. The baby was happy. The baby's mother was thankful. Trixie's parents were proud. And the other passengers were very relieved. And that is how, a few weeks later, Trixie received her very first letter. The end. A note to Trixie. Trixie, I hope to watch you grow up, fall in love, start a family and be happy. And I hope that one day, many years from now, you will receive a package from an old pen pal, Love Daddy. <laughs>